everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost. You got scraps? Got scrap paper? Or have you got little scraps or pieces of stuff that you don't know what to do with? Let's do some assemblage, some collage, and make really cool things out of them. So this is actually what was on my desk. These are the scraps. And then I grabbed some, I don't know, just random other fun scraps I had with maybe a little bit more text on it around. So whatever you have, just grab a pile of it and let's just have some fun with these papers. Uh, these are fun things that you can add to junk journals and uh, they're really easy to make, very beginner friendly, um, easy beginner tutorial. Oh, here's another cool piece. And uh, this is actually elephant poop paper. I know, this was gifted to me, thank you very much. Um, and they turned it into paper. I know and there's no odor, no nothing like that. But uh, boy, talk about recycling. That's pretty cool. That takes the cake. So there you go. Um, you can do this a couple different ways, but one way is just to build upon itself. We're going to do the build upon itself method. I think I'm going to use Scotch Create glue stick because it's a good strong glue stick. You can use any glue stick, but I'm just going to create a piece of paper out of nothing, not unlike a Franken paper, but we're not sewing it. We're just gluing it. And then we're going to do some punching of it and we're going to decide we may back it with a stronger piece of paper so it would be easier to punch, but we, it may be strong enough in and of itself. We're just going to see. And what you might want to do is take some pieces and just tear them into smaller pieces because um, the layering of it, the, uh, the look of the patchwork quiltedness of it is going to be the eye appeal. And you're going to be able to have this great um, pile of papers, collaged papers, to make things with. And you can use them for 101 different things in a junk journal. Pockets, tucks, focal points, back uh, arm, like um, nesting material for focal points. Uh, you can make envelopes out of them. You can just, like, like oh, a million things. Um, so, yeah, I'm just taking random stuff. And I like the way that that was the... Nouveau drops I had on here and I thought I might smudge some of this coppery color on the paper. I thought that might be fun and um, so that little smudge just gave me the idea. I love the idea of a torn edge. Anybody can tear an edge like this and you can get the fancy uh, tearing rulers. You can tear it yourself. It's all good. It's all good. We're going to use up our stuff wisely. Everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise and this is really taking that task to test to, to home because we're showing how you can use stuff that you've got laying around after a project's been done. Maybe you've got a pile of scraps. I know it happens. And um, sometimes they run away on us. We get a lot of them. Uh, but this is a great way to put them to good use. And really, why not? We're saving the environment. We're uh, entertaining ourselves inexpensively. We're creating art. Uh, it's all good. And it's it's an easy project. Um, so I think this is a good amount to start with. And we can always tear more. That's okay. So I'm going to use the raw edge as the outside edge and just start um, uh, doing something like this. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's see, I'm going to go on the... Now, it would probably be really smart if I had something to glue upon. Because I'm going to get glue everywhere. I know it. Okay, let me, can I just emphasize that any more than I just did? I know it. Okay, so... All right. And we're not really worried about measurements. I'm not. I'm not worried about measurements or anything right now. I have no idea of the dimension of what I'm making, what it's going to be. So I'm only gluing the, the upper half of it because that's what I'm going to glue to this. And... Now, there we go. Okay. And that you can line them up exactly. You can do them random. It doesn't matter. It's all, it's all good. That's the joy of doing something like this. See, I've already torn it and I've already, I've already misaligned it, but we're good. We're going, we're going bold and we're going strong. I like that. Um, but I think I like that better on a white. Um, and the thing is, and I'm actually breaking my first rule, don't think about it too much. Just go ahead and do it. So this one's probably going to have a lot of it on there. Okay. All right. And yes, yes, there is a little bit of glue on the back of that, but that, that'll all dry and it'll be okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, that's good. Um, 
It's a very relaxing, methodical, zen-like process. Um, fun for all concerned. You can blend in text, pictures. Maybe I want to put something like that on there. Um, yeah. Oh, there was some nice text there, but now it's you. I'm using the picture side. Okay. There we go. All right. So we just keep going along, motoring along, knowing not exactly what we're doing. And that's probably the joint. You can also do this thumb technique just along the top edge where the torn part is, because that's the part that I want to show. Okay. And you are allowed to piecemeal them together because it's yours. So you can totally do that, and that's okay. It's actually welcomed and encouraged in the great scheme of things. Um, so I'm just going to keep building upon this. Maybe I'm going to throw in some of this more unique stuff. Uh, maybe I tear these this way. How about that? Rarely do I tear them this way, so this time I'm going to tear it that way. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be straight, aligning, anything. They don't have to be any way. You just go ahead and just glue them on. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to put that there. All right, I'm, I'm not thinking about it. I'm just doing it. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I'm not thinking. <laughs> you can tell there's a lot of non-thinking going on here. It's rampant among these parts. Okay, there we go. Oh, here's some music. That's pretty. I like that. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna play with that for sure. All right, let's get that going. Let me just a thin one. I'll just run this one right over with the gentle thumb technique. Yeah, put that down, and before you know it, these things grow and they look kind of cool. Um, oh, here's that. The one with a little bit of the copper on it, which looks so cool to me. I, I like metallics. Um, I think they're pretty. I like glitter. I like sparkle. I like I like a lot of a lot of different looks. I like pure nature and neutrals too. That that's fun. Okay, so we're building a piece of paper out of just what we have here. I I, I can I know you figured that out already. Okay, so we're we're continuing to build it. And um, Sonny had a little incident last night. He's fine. Okay, let me just get that clear. He's fine. Um, he had an upset tummy. I think he had an upset tummy. Okay, so this was the deal. I gave him four of his favorite treats on the floor before I left last night. And I came home, and the treats were still there. So that worried Mother because he never ignores his treats. So I thought maybe he has either a sore tooth or a tummy ache because they were hard um, biscuit-like treats. And uh, so I pulled out the big backup chicken. Okay, so I offered him a piece of chicken, and he didn't want it. So I'm like, uh-oh, that something's wrong with his belly. So I squeezed it. He wasn't shaking. He didn't look in distress. I was squeezing his belly to make sure he didn't have any tenderness. There was no tenderness. There was no, um, nothing found in the house that shouldn't have been there, you know. Nothing came out either end that I could, could see. Um... So I was, you know, he, he seemed okay other than that. But, yeah, he was refusing food, and I thought, oh, that's not good. So um, we went to bed, and he snuggled close. He kind of wrapped his little self around my head, and I thought he, he needed to be close. So something was up, you know. And I looked around. Did he get into something he shouldn't have gotten into? Not that I could see, but you never know with the little guy. He could eat something, you know, or... Um, maybe he had a sore gum or sore tooth and he doesn't like me looking in his mouth. But anyway, we woke up this morning and that little foo face immediately got up and ran to the treat that he ignored last night and he ate it in two seconds. So let's just say mother was greatly relieved that whatever it was, self-resolved. And I just love when things do that and, you know, we don't have to go off to the vet or something like that. And he's been completely normal today, so... I guess, I'm, I get, you know, a sore tooth I don't think would have healed. Um, he doesn't like me to get in there and look, but I do my best. But he's a fighter, let me tell you. If he doesn't want me in that mouth, I can't get in there um, no matter what. So, um, 
I don't think it's a sore tooth, but if it continues, I will pursue investigating that. Um, probably take him in to get somebody to look in his mouth, or maybe the two of us can look in his mouth, something like that. Um, might need more hands on deck, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a little mouth. It's a very little mouth, and it's not easy to... Yeah, I know the trick of putting your fingers right behind the two canines, and they have to open their mouth. There's like a little response. They can't avoid it. Um, it's kind of a weird thing. Uh, I'm sure there's some evolutionary purpose of that. Um, maybe that's the prey trying to wiggle out. And it's, I don't know, prey's last chance. <laughs> I don't know. But um, um, that doesn't make sense. Not for the dog. That would be against the dog's um, uh, advantage. You know, the dog needs to eat. So, all right. So that's kind of cool, right? Okay, let's just, let's just try. Okay, it's a little sticky on this side because I was not, you know, that good with the glue. So maybe we should back it with this, huh? Or something white. Let's just get a piece of anything. I've got a ton of paper around here. Just go grab a piece of something, Pam. For gosh sakes, you've got something. Okay, here's a piece of something. I'm just going to glue it on there. Okay, so I think that because of the moistness of the glue and not so much, the, yeah, and maybe the floppiness of it, it's going to do better a little thicker if we our plan is to punch it. But I do like this, the way that would look on the back. Maybe I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I like this one better. We're just going to do it. Okay, flop that over, put a bunch of glue down, and let's just give it a stronger backing. Not as strong as this would have been cardstock. That's extra strong. That probably would work very nice for cutting purposes if we're going to do punching. But I think this will be just fine. And if not, we'll figure it out. How about that? Okay. We can always make it thicker. We can we could add the uh, cardstock. Well, let's just see where we get now. Let's let's not throw everything out with the bath water. Okay. All right. Uh. Okay. Here we go. There. there. That's not very well glued. Can we do a better job than that? I think so. All right, let's just get in there and super glue that baby down. Not super glue, it's just regular glue, but we're doing an effective glueage. All right, so we have a little tail of it here, and that's okay because that actually looks pretty cool. It works with the design. Okay, so now I don't have to wait so much for it to dry because it sort of is dry, but if the paper was purely dry, it would be easier to punch, which I will probably demonstrate by showing you how this, these punches will choke on the damp paper Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to find some cool punches. Let's try these. These are, just, these are intricate, and this will probably cause a big, big problem, but this one might be a good cruncher. All right, let's just try one. We'll just go in for one, see where we get. Oh, okay, that was a success. Okay, so we have that now. And those could be cute little um, dangles and things like that. So, I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with something like that. Um, it is a little damp. I will not, I will not kid you. I will not try and pull the wool over your eyes. Eh, okay. And these punches don't like damp paper. Okay. They just don't. It's like, you know, when you eat too much popcorn or, or dry chicken, you know what I mean? Or, or peanut butter without anything else. And you're like, Ooh, I can't, I can't swallow because it's stuck in my throat. It's like that. Yeah, it is. Okay. This is the, the delicate little butterfly this is going to be a disaster watch yeah okay it doesn't like it at all no it's like get out of here i'm not even talking to you kind of attitude now the whole thing is stuck we can't get it out okay that happens sometimes i'm so okay push the stamp down punch your thing oh i'm totally stuck in there now okay so that's why we wait for the paper to dry because it's much easier okay so we're just gonna we're going to what we call this is the sacrificial paper eh. I'm going to try to get this out. Oh, I'll get it out later. Okay, get, okay, pull it. All right, just get it out now, pal. While you're here, get it out. Okay, so, fine. The heck with you. Uh, we're not, I'm not talking to you anymore. No. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this a little stronger. I can't go too thick or it won't cut it at all. Well, I'm going to try gluing this on here and see if I can get a darn butterfly out of this thing. This may not happen today. 
but we're going to find out if this makes a difference. Okay, now if I would just wait for the paper to dry, probably everything would be fine. But I am, I should have just been called the impatient crafter because I don't like waiting for stuff. No, 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 no. Okay, so we got that. And don't forget to cover your glue lid or else you'll have a dry glue stick and we'll all cry. Okay, so that's pretty good. Everything feels dry. Let's see if this works. Are you happy now? Are you going to work with me? Are we going to have a good day? Okay, wait a minute. Let me get like a good angle here. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Try this one. Uh, no, nothing. Feels like it's going to break. Okay, no, no. Retreat. <laughs> Pull out, retreat. Okay, there we go. All right, so that didn't work. Let's try this one. Maybe this one will work. Who knows, right? This one is probably going to have the same problem, I think. So like a little delicate little flower up. <coughs> you get one? <laughs> I think we got one. Yay. <laughs> you know, it's hit or miss in this world of crafting. You just never know. But these are just the, the prettiest little images you can get. And they're awesome for little embellishments and things like that. I mean, you can get the most beautiful collaged embellishments if your darn punches work. Okay, now this, we got to get this out of here. Never an easy, oh, okay, that wasn't, that wasn't hard. Okay, right when I'm about to tell you how hard it is, it's easy. And when I tell you how easy it is, it's hard. Okay, so let's just get some different ones over here. We're going to get some that are not too particular. You don't look very particular. You guys look awfully big. Now I need some small ones. Wait, I got to go back to the trenches and get some smaller ones. Okay, if I was going to get a smaller one, it would look like this. Okay, well, we'll try this one. Probably won't work. Um, okay, so it's this one. It's going to look like that. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's see if this works. I guess I could show you if it works on this side. Let's see if it works. Oh, yeah, that was a good crunch. Oh, see, isn't that pretty? Look how instantly pretty that is. It's just pretty. There's the little copper dot. I haven't even begun to copper yet, and they're so pretty. Um, yeah, okay. So let's just punch it. Now, now I'm feeling good again, positive. See how quickly we can go from disaster pants to, hey, look what we did today. It's that fast in the craft room. Okay, so let's say we do have some odd things on here now. And in order to maximize what I'm doing, <laughs> this is totally by the seat of my pants. Um, sounds like I pre-thought everything. No, 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 no. Okay, I know you know I haven't. Okay, all right. So I have this, because this is how I craft, really. It's just sort of, as I go, I, I, I make it up. And, um, when, you know, when you're crafting by yourself and you're like, oh, what am I going to do now? This is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to glue this loose edge down, make, make that all become there. What? My computer just made a funny noise. Oh, lost half of my glue there. I don't know why. And now yeah, I'm just going to fill in the rest of this collage. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep collaging. I got to open the glue pan. All right. Um, okay. Don't, don't hum. All right. There we go. Okay. That's not down everywhere. You know that. Okay. Get that there. Yep. All right. That's all down. I can trim it later. That's okay. Um, maybe a little bit of white. Sure. White's always good contrast. Never snub it. You can always use it somewhere in your designs. And black and browns are nice uh, contrasting neutral accents. I've got a ton of paper here. It's amazing how the paper tears when you're <clears throat> playing with it. And it's also amazing how very little paper you need to have a lot of fun. So some of this is coffee dyed paper. Here's some tissue paper. I don't know, we'll figure that out in a minute. Um, you know, old caramelized papers. I mean, you can just use anything you have. Um, it, they don't have to be old. Old is just a style, old. They don't have to be vintage. They don't have to be antique. They just have to be. That's all it is, is they just have to be. But if you've got pretty papers, maybe you want to work with them. I understand that. Um, okay, that's right. Okay, it's just like half stuck to my finger. Okay, so I, I do like this calligraphy on this particular ad. Let's see if we can add. Add the ad. We're going to add the ad here. Sure, why not? Okay, there we go. You're down. 
um, that may or may not end up in the same place. We don't know. We don't know where any of this is going to lead at this point. But we are realizing, or at least I am, that somehow in here we are getting a cool piece of collaged paper. This paper is very fragile and it wouldn't make it on its own, so it needs a good something to hold on to. And it got it today. Okay, we'll just stick that there. All right, gluing, gluing. Doesn't take that much glue either. And I don't, I don't think you need some industrial strength super glue here. I think basic glue sticks will probably be just fine, but um, get your favorite glue stick, whatever it is. You know, we all have our different um, favorites with the glue world, so. And uh, I'm sure they come out with new glue sticks all the time. I think somebody recently asked me the Beacon 3-in-1 or the Fabrifix or the Fabri-Tac. I get asked that a lot. And uh, to me, they work the same. They're probably not the same constituently. They have maybe different ingredients, different purposes, but honestly, they work the same to me. So wherever you find any of those, and I think there's others now made by Beacon as well. It's Last time I actually researched glue was a while ago because you just find your happy glue and then you're good for a while. You know what I mean? You're good like for five or ten years. You don't need to look again until they invent something new or, or you start hearing people say, oh yeah, but what about this glue? Have you tried that? And then it's like if ten people come at you with that, then you're like, mm, maybe I better go take a look. You know, like maybe there's some logic. Maybe in there somewhere I could learn something. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's how it happens. So keep recommending, keep suggesting to each other because we're all explorative little creatures and we're all wondering what direction to go in. Because we we're all floundering around in the same pond, wondering, oh my God, what do I do, what do, I do in this situation? Um, you don't have to get every little spot either. No, 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 no. It's not necessary, which is kind of the fun of it. It's just can randomly glue stuff together. And, and not even be good at gluing, but it'll all be all right in the end for some strange reason. And nobody, nobody knows why that is yet hidden from us. That could be a good word. Um, but we all know the feeling when you're just like kind of putzing along and it works and you really don't know why. I know, right? That's really cool. So let's have more of that in our life. And the only way you get more of that is to continue to putz forward. Because if you're not putzing, life is passing you by. And I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to all live fulfilled, enriched lives. Whether you are out there slaying dragons or you are crafting from the bed. I want you to have a blast. A full blast, no matter what you're doing or where you're, where you're starting from. Because... Let's face it, we're all going to end up in the bed someday. So <laughs> we might as well either. And once we get there, we want to still have fun. So there you go. <laughs> um, how about we do a big flower and see how that comes out? Okay, let's try that. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll point it up so you can see it. This is an EK. I did buy these new and I thought they were worth it. I forget how much they are, but... You buy one tool and you use it a lot, it's worth it. If you buy one tool and you don't use it, it wasn't worth it. And sometimes you don't know until you buy the darn tool. Right? 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 I know. Okay. Uh-oh. Too thick. Uh oh, okay, but came through. Yeah, there seem to be a little bit... Oh, I'm afraid to say this. The punches themselves seem to be a little bit stronger. I don't know. But I've, I've had better luck than, than yeah, these squeezies. Not, not as strong. Now, this one... It could be with the intricacy of the design. This guy, this one seems to be easy to do. This one, not so happy. Let's do a couple more of these. Just to, oh boy, here we go. No, is it? Yeah, nope, nope. So what I said before, yeah, just throw that right out the window. So these squeezies, not as strong. No, we're just going to put that in the not as strong pile. And we're going to come along and, and get one that'll do the job. Like, like which one? Like, which, what didn't we do? Oh, we didn't do a heart yet. Okay, so let's do a heart. Okay. Oh, prove me, prove me right, please. Okay, here we go. All right, there we go. That's pretty hard. Okay. Okay, it doesn't seem to be working. I'm going to turn it over and give it the old. Nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, didn't work. Let's try the bird. Let's just see if it's 
Is it me? Is it the punch? Is it? Okay, so some punches are just better than others. How about that? This intricate one worked better than this heart, which should have really worked well. So there is no theory I have going here now at all. If anybody wants to throw some theories out, feel free. Feel free. You don't even understand is how I got two reversed birds. Maybe I punched it down. Yeah, and this one I punched up. Oh, so you can reverse your birdage that way. So there's a little tip for you. If it matches the picture, it's going to be nose right. If you do it upside down, suddenly it's nose left. Yeah, okay. So I learned something out of this little experimental thing that we've been doing here. Well, I still feel like you're going to work. Let me try getting maybe in a thinner area. Okay, the heck with you. I don't like you anymore at all. No, I'm not talking to you anymore. You're just, you're, that's it. There's no more treats for you. Okay, I'm not talking. No, nope, there's nothing. No, nope. I'm going to get the other ones that I rarely use. Okay, look at that. I have another heart. I wonder if this one works. I don't know. I don't know if I have enough room for a heart, but maybe we'll get part, part heart. Because part hearts are kind of, oh, I don't think I have enough room. Let's see. Eh. Eh. Oh, hey, there we go. So there you go. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. <laughs> okay, so we have a heart. Okay, so now we're cruising. I like that. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Look at that. I'm all happy pants now again. Very, very good. Life is good again. Um, I, got, I feel like I need smaller ones. Let me go look in here. I need smaller ones. Oh, I don't think these will work at all. No, I have very low hope for these. All right, let's try though. Let's see. Well, you know what? Let's be really brave and try our our good old friend one inch circle punch. Because we always need some circles, right? For page tabs, for little closures. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. I think I said cooking with butter the other day. I couldn't think of the phrase. Yes, we are cooking with butter. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, now we're talking. Um, that works really well. Okay, this is going to just come in and clean up all this little area of unknown. Yep. I wonder if it's getting duller as I use it. Probably to some degree. Let me see if I can get into this middle area that I have not yet breached. All right, there we go. Okay, now I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, circles are good. If you don't have any th punches, just get a circle punch. You can make so much from a circle punch. It's ridiculous. Let me tell you, we're going to make stuff with circle punch stuff. So, yeah, and you've got scraps. You've got one circle punch. You're going places. That's all you really need in life because it's working for me. I'm, it's my best friend right now, um, and I'm loving it. And um, you can also use the negatives. Don't forget the negatives. But right now we're just, we're thinking positive. So off with you. Um, so yeah, look how many fun little things we have to play with. Out of a pile of nothing. I mean, like, a pile, like why buy embellishment stuff when you can just make your own? And oh, that's, that would look really cute on there. Let's just add that weird little piece of paper. And it can be as, as, as innocent as something like, you get to hang on to it. This will be the tricky part. Oh, I don't even know what's there. I can't even see it anymore. Can't even get it on there. It's can't, it won't come off my finger. It's, it's gone. It's disintegrated. Did it fall off? I don't even know where it went. It's gone. <laughs> all right. So but that's all right. I have another little piece of paper here. And this time, to be smart about it, I'm going to put some glue there and put this down. Oh, there we go. We got the word Saturday. That's kind of cool. If I can not fracture it, it would be really cool. But it's not going to be the whole word, but it's going to be part of it. Sometimes that's all you need. Oh, it's a really part of it. I got... <laughs> okay, look what I got. I know. that that That's real life for you. Can I get the S-A? Maybe I can get the S-A back on there. Please, please, please. <laughs> oh, nothing is funnier than real life, they say, and I think it's true. Um, <laughs> oh, that takes a cake. Uh, I got most of it. It looks better though now, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah that looks totally looks like Saturday. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh goodness gracious! The things that come about while you're crafting, you know. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, 
we will use these uh, with little embellishments and stuff. I'm sure we will. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is just, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to take a little paintbrush and just do some flicking, little flicks of something somewhere on here in some way, shape, or form. Let me just get something. I think I got a million paintbrushes here. I just don't want to use a good one. I'm going to use some like El, El Cheapo one or something. Okay, yeah, this looks kind of... Not very important. Are you very important? I don't think so. Pure bristle. Yeah, it's probably something like vital importance to somebody somewhere. i just put some. This is Nouveau Drops in, I think it's Copper Penny. Yeah, Copper Penny color. And so we're going to use it um, just to, I don't, know, I don't know what I'm doing actually. I'm just randomly using this as paint. I thought it'd be pretty on the bird. Okay, I just use it a little bit on that. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just kind of putting it randomly. Um, it's just sort of fun. It's like plastic paint almost. I guess that would be a good way to describe it. You can do the pounce technique. Yeah, you don't have to follow any. No, there's no rules, so you can do whatever you want, which is great. Okay, I'm just going to do that. And then this, this, this technique. Yeah, it's very technical. You need like seven years before you can go to that one. I don't know what that is, but that looks kind of cool. Okay. And then oh, we have more. Put a little more on there. Um, there we go. So there we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that the back side? No, let's go to I'm pouncing. This is called pouncing. That I, I remember from art class. You'll pounce the paint. Yes, that's what you'll do. You'll pounce the paint, the plastic paint known as Nouveau Drops. <laughs> pounce, pounce, pounce. It doesn't have to be exact or anything. It's, it's, it's just so all good. It, like, that's why it's so beginner friendly or messy crafter friendly because everything goes. It just, and it all matches. And we've pounced. We need more paint. And, and life is grand. Yeah. No, I think we're good. Get some there. Get a little bit. Okay. So, if you liked our fun little things, or if you have any suggestions on ways to take this even further, please feel free to put them in the comments. Let me see if I have word from Snufflepagus. Oh, he's left the building. Wait, excuse me. I'm good. Now that he, he's back on snack patrol, he's checking the house. What you doing? You're on the couch? You know you're up, right? It's your time. Yeah, I know you've recovered and you've had a snack and all is well. I, I, yeah, you got things to say? I think you do. You got things to say. Yes. Yeah, okay, you look, you look very docile today. Like you're very calm. And, but there was, there was, well, I'll let you tell the story. Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Sunshine Cub Pup Reporter. Um, I had a rough night. Yeah, it was, it was rough in the trenches. I was on a mission, and um, uh, it got pretty hairy, scary there for a while. Uh, Mom wasn't home, so she has no idea what happened, and I'm not going to divulge my sources. So I'm just going to say there was probably a squirrel involved, and I was on security patrol, and I probably got into something I should not have gotten into, and I ate it. And I paid the price. You know how you feel when you, you got the bag of Doritos and you know better, but you do it anyway? Yeah, it was like that, one of those nights. So anyway, this morning, everything is fine. Um, you want to show them your teeth? No. No. Okay. Yep. Here's the teeth. Okay. Um, you can, can we look in further? No, Mom, no, not on. Okay, fine. I'll do it later. Um, all right. So anyway, that's that's everything from from the oh gosh, I just really didn't get a good night's sleep last night. Okay, so um, this little cub is going back to sleep. I love you all. Take care and happy crafting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be it's gonna be a nap ski day for you, right? Totally, totally. <laughs> all right, so there you go, folks. I hope you had fun and. Um, um, if you are new, welcome. If you've been around, uh, that's awesome. Uh, the crafting paper community is very large. And I was uh, just reading some a con um, connection with a lady from Cape Town in Africa, South Africa. So that was kind of cool today. And 
she was telling me about her life and what it was like there and everything. And it's like it just, paper brings people together and it's such an innocent thing. We don't have to go to fancy galas. We don't have to schmooze or anything like that. We can just find each other. We're in every little nook and cranny of the world. And um, instead of giving you my big spiel of where everything is, I, I'm just going to tell you all the links are down below. Give you a break today and tell you that fun can be simple. I'm going to whisper that in your ear over and over again. And remember to create with reckless abandon. And I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.